the new video on the Griot's Garage brand new redesigned G21 Professional Long Throw Orbital Polisher. So what I show you on my table, I did videos on the G8, absolutely love this machine. We got the G9 next to it, we got the new G21, we got the old G21, and then we have the old G15. Now, these old machines, I absolutely love these machines. I have hundreds and hundreds of hours on both of these machines doing various paint corrections. Now, I did a couple of cars with the G21. There's a couple of things that I'm gonna show you about this machine today. I'm not gonna to go too crazy and make a 30 minute video because I have very detailed videos on the G9 and the G8, and I'm gonna link those videos at the end screen annotations of this video. Uh, also to let you know, I am not sponsored by Griot's Garage. All the machines on the table I purchased with my own money, including the new G21, as soon as this was announced in the catalog, I got on the waiting list and I literally just got it about a couple of weeks ago. So let me get the camera set up. I'm gonna go over a couple of the little features and specs on all these machines and tell you the honest opinion on what I feel the new G21 is for anybody out there that's looking for a new long throw orbital polisher. So like I said, we have all the polishers up on the table. Before we go further, this is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys wanna know about is the weights of these machines. And I've talked about this in the past, but I'm just gonna put this in the video going forward. So to start out, we're gonna start with the G8 polisher. This weighs a tick over four pounds. The G9 polisher is a tick over five pounds. The new redesigned G21 is six pounds. The old G21 is six pounds. And the old G15 is a tick over five pounds. So just wanted to show that I weighed and scaled everything accordingly, and that's pretty much where we're at. Also, regarding the G21, I've tested this machine with not only the Griot's Boss pads, I've tested them with the Rupes pads, and also with the Opti pads. Uh, just because I was experiencing a lot of vibration and a lot of heat that was coming into my hand as I was holding it, especially in this particular area here in the snout. So if you look at this machine where they have the pad versus the front snout rest, it's very similar to the Rupes Mealy as far as the design attribute. But to be honest with you, I feel this machine is too powerful and it generates too much heat to be holding it right here. I feel that if you're gonna finesse a machine like that, you're gonna wanna use the G8. This machine, I absolutely love this machine. This is one of my favorite new tools that I actually added in my arsenal this past year. I use this thing for everything from wheel polishing, spoilers, bumpers, mirrors, undercuts of the body. This thing is absolutely incredible. And the cool thing is, even though it has only an eight millimeter orbit, you pull this pad off, you put a microfiber pad without an interference foam pad, and you put proper compounds, like I use 3M Perfected, I use sometimes the Sonax Cutmax, whatever, and you could do wet sanding and very, very heavy paint correction with this machine if you know how to use it and you're gonna eliminate the risk of burning the edges if you're gonna use one of the more powerful machines. So if any of these machines are gonna be the one to pick up that you definitely should have a, as a complimentary to your auto detailing, this is the one that I strongly, strongly suggest. And for the money, I think it's like 149, lifetime warranty, you cannot beat this machine. Now, we're gonna go over to the uh, G9 just to give you a quick overview. I use this machine primarily for single stage paints and classic cars. Cars that have original lacquer paints or were repainted 20, 30 plus years ago, I'll go to this machine because I wanna take the least amount of paint off those cars when I do a paint correction. So I like it, it's light, it's smooth, it does the job. I did a great video on this and you guys should check that out as well. I think if you're a beginner or if you're someone that owns collector cars or vintage cars, or you're gonna work with single stage softer paints, this is definitely the machine I'm gonna recommend for you out of the box. I think you're gonna love it. And same thing, it's, it's an outstanding value. My machine does not run hot. I have no issues with that whatsoever. Some people have complained that they had issues with the power cords. And I will tell you, you just have to make sure that when you connect it, let me just grab the cord right now, that it clicks in. Okay, so watch. You hear that click? So if you put it in and it doesn't click, you may have an issue with the cord. But to be honest with you, you know, it's plastic. You got to just let it wear in a little bit. And of course, you know, the temp depending on the temperature range, it's going to be easier and softer. Now it's about 95 degrees in New York, so it's nice and pliable. And it clicks in and it's done. So I think the removable cord is one of the best features of these new machines. Uh, I also like the ergonomic. It's got a nice grip. Um, there's a couple of things that I don't love about them. But like I said, uh, I think for the money, these things are great. Also, the new machines have the rubber tool rest here. Nice platypus front grip. And on this particular machine, like the G9, you could actually hold it down here 
relatively easily and do your pain correction. Now, we want to talk about the G21. That's what we came here for today. So let's get started on that one. All right. So when you buy the G21 kit or any of these machines, uh, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get some spare brushes. You're going to get the Allen key. Now the G21 and the new G15, you could, this comes with a six inch backing plate, the G15, a five inch, you could actually interchange those. Now you're going to get your little instruction manual and you're also going to get your coiled up power cord and you also have the option for a longer power cord. You're going to get a little instruction sheet here that's going to go over the pads, the polishes and stuff like that. This is good for a beginner, but to be honest with you, if you're buying a, G a 21 machine, you're pretty much going to be a seasoned pro or a very, very good detailer. Now, it also comes with these two devices. There's no mention of what these are for in the owner's manual. I have a feeling that this has to do with just an extra stud and a counterweight washer if you're going to step it down to a five inch and this is also a spare for a six inch so this also comes in the kit now i'm going to get a close-up and i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about here now when you look at these machines we're going to put them side by side okay okay so let me just get the camera down so you can see what we're looking at here this is the new g21 this is the old g21 you see the difference between where the pad is here and where it is here so by having it a little bit more of a reach you're going to get a little bit more of an extended work area the only thing is i feel from using this machine already on a couple of cars i feel that the balance is a little bit heavy towards the front and it's not as smooth to engage and operate as the older one i personally like the older one i think this is a solid stout machine it does not have the built-in rubber rest on the back but to be honest with you i don't think it matters the machine is so good i also prefer on the old one the rotary dial here for my thumb now, if you look at the new one, it's got it on the side. And to be honest with you, I think when you're holding the machine, I think here is just a better ergonomic than here. That's just my personal opinion and that's my personal preference. Uh, you also, you're gonna get the removable screens and all that good stuff. Now, the trigger on this one is a little bit longer than the G9, like I'll show you here. And if you put the tools side by side, Looking at the body, they're very identical. You're gonna see a little bit of a difference here. So the G21 and G15 are gonna be longer by about a quarter of an inch versus the G9, okay? Also, the trigger is gonna be a little bit longer from this one. This is the smaller one, which I complained about in my video, and this is the longer one. Also, the trigger, it's not as smooth as I would like, but like I said, the price category of where these tools are falling into, I still think it's very manageable. Now, this one here, you have a rubber encapsulated trigger it just feels nicer i mean look at the way this is ergonomic and designed it's totally different than the new one you can look at that there so you can see but it's still good nonetheless i just prefer the older machine just because i have a lot of experience with it also the older machine doesn't have the removable cord but i never had an issue coiling up the cord and i wrapped the cord around the front snout okay so a key difference between these new g21 and new g15 models is that they have a backing plate that you could see here that has vent holes cut in there for cooling. Now on the older machine, you just had a solid backing plate, just like all the other machines. And you could see there, your cooling is done internally through the front snout. Now you also have the cooling that's gonna go through the actual base plate or the pad as well. If you look at the new G21, and these are both six inch pads, uh, backing plate so you can see this has a hell of a lot more cooling here now what they did i don't know why they did this but this machine has an 1100 watt motor and it is very powerful i'm going to put it in the jaw horse i'm going to free spin the old one and the new one we're going to keep the microphone exactly where it's at and you're going to tell me on camera or post it in the comments of this video as far as which one you think is louder so what i've been running into with this machine is that i can't hold it here very long it gets too hot um, and I hope that someone from Griot's Garage sees this video and actually will comment on, is this going to be revised? I just think the machine is so powerful, and I don't think that this bottom backing plate is going to give the ideal cooling, especially if you're going to be working large panels like hoods, roofs, and deck lids, and even cars that have very flat slab side body panels. So that's just a little bit of concern to me. Now, I tried it with all the Grails Garage pads, I had it with the Rupes pads, I had it with the Opti pads, I had it with Lake Country pads. I've tried it with everything and I tried this machine with a number of different polishes. So right now I'm gonna show you guys some demonstration clips. I did a light polish on my Alfa Romeo Stelvio just to, you know, out of the box. I did some testing on that, you can see it here. And the tool has good control. 
the noise could be a little bit smooth, quieter and the vibration definitely could be a little bit less. So for when I was working on the Stelvio, I just used the Griot's Garage Perfecting Cream. That's the one that has the yellow pad with the yellow icon on the bottle. Now, I also worked on a silver F-150 pickup truck. I did that as well. I used some Sonax Perfect Finish on that, and I used an orange and a white, uh, white microfiber pad from Meguiar's on that, on that truck. Now, also, you'll see some clips here. I also did a brand new Mercedes-Benz uh, E-Class, and I polished out the trunk. I polished out the quarter panels. I just gave it a good once over. It's a brand new car for a good customer of mine, and it came out phenomenal. Now, the results speak for themselves. The machine will do the job. And like I said, I just going to be honest with you. I just prefer the older design versus the newer design because I feel that the older design has more control, more balance. And I just think, you know, for me and for what I've been using it for a number of years, I'm just more used to this machine. Maybe over time, if I get more time with this machine, I may become to love it. But usually when something new comes out, like what do we all do? We like, hey, I want to upgrade immediately. So a big part of me was going to sell this machine uh, on my web shop. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to go put this for sale yet because I love these machines so much that I didn't want to risk letting one of these go if I didn't love these machines. So for the most part, the G8, I love. The G9, I love. I love all these old machines. I'm not keeping them. The G21, like I said, I, I think I'm kind of mixed, uh, mixed bag with this one right now. I mean, I like it. I don't love it. I don't think it's perfect. And I am going to possibly definitely sell this. So if you guys want a brand new G21, that was just a demonstration unit for the Auto Fanatic video. Go over to my web shop and uh, feel free to check it out in the web shop because I will put this for sale for about half the price of what you're going to pay for it. And it's going to be brand new lifetime warranty, warranty card never registered as well. So one other thing I want to show you guys in the video, let's lock both of these units, this one here and this one here in the jaw horse. All right, guys, so I got the new G21 locked into my jaw horse. The camera and the microphone are fixed. So I'm going to let it free spin and you guys could make a determination as far as which one you think is smoother and which one's louder. So here we go. So change the speed on that one. So you could feel the power when this thing is totally dialed in at max speed. Let me just get the... See, it's tough for me to get this dial because I can't feel it right now. There it is. Yeah, I just like the controller in the other location. All right, so let's switch machines. So here's the older version of the G21. Let's hear that one. You can hear how smooth it is at low speed. Audibly, it's much smoother. You can, you can hear it. So you can even see the soft trigger start. You know, it's got that little bit of a delay. This machine is totally solid. You could definitely hear it on the camera. I could definitely hear it because I'm shooting this video for you guys that the older motor design and the older design in general is much more refined, much smoother. Uh, that's just my personal opinion of using this machine. So let's uh, wrap this video up right now for you guys and I'll tell you my final thoughts. And like I said, um, I don't want to go into too much detail because a lot of the stuff I talk about in my other videos and I highly suggest for anybody that has not watched any of those other videos, watch the video on the G9 and also watch the video on the G8. This is one of my new favorite machines. I absolutely love these two side by side for collector cars and some of the specialty stuff that I work on. These are my machines that I go to when I don't want to go too aggressive. Now, the G21, like I said, I, I kind of get what they did. They took the existing tooling of what they had when they came out with the G9 and they kind of just readapted it to the larger, more professional grade machines. Now, there's no doubt about it that this motor is damn powerful. This is a very stout machine. There's a couple of things I don't love about it. I prefer the thumb dial over here. I also prefer the smoothness of the older machine. And I also prefer that the older machine runs cooler. And I don't really think that this is something that's needed on a larger professional machine like this. I think, you know, pro detailers that are going to be using this machine are going to know how to use the machine and control it just through the front snout alone and through the proper pad and compound and polish selection. 
Also, uh, like I said, something that I just noticed is this is their new backing plate design. This is proprietary to what they're doing uh, because they changed the design of the cooling mechanism. You can see it in there. Okay, you see how much clearance space we have between the backing plate and here. There's no rubber shroud on the bottom end, uh, but it does run a little hot. So if you're running this on a big panel and you're at speed, you know, five or six for 10 to 15 minutes, this sucker gets really, really hot down here and it gets to the point where you're going to get uncomfortable because it's going to blow the heat. You see right here, there's one of the vents for the motor. It's going to blow the heat right onto the, your thumb and it's going to cause some discomfort. So I don't recommend you know, using this like that. But like I said, that's just my honest review of the new Grails Garage Boss G21. Head over to my web shop today. Uh, check this out. This is definitely going to be up for grabs. I don't need it. I have 17 polishers in my arsenal. I don't need another one. And to be honest with you, I'm very happy with the older machines. And I'm just accustomed to it. I've adapted to it. I, I have the technique with the proper pad polish and compound selection for those machines that out of the box, boom, when I go to a job, I know exactly what I need to do. So a G21 or something like this, no matter who you're going to you know, buy the machine from, this is really good for hard clear coats. I have a big audience with Mustangs and Shelbys, you know, the newer ones from 2015 plus. Those cars have hard clear coat and they have a hard time cutting and doing real, real paint correction. The G9 is not going to cut it on something like that unless you go very aggressive with a microfiber cutting pad and some, you know, very, very aggressive compounds. G21, no matter which one you use, it's going to knock it out in seconds as far as getting the paint correction done. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Auto Fanatic channel and set your notifications to not miss the next upcoming Auto Fanatic video where I'm going to be reviewing more detailing products, equipment and tools and more automotive content for my audience around the world. And like I said, thanks for the support. And don't forget, head over to the Auto Fanatic web shop today to support Auto Fanatic as a brand. And I will see you guys on the next video real soon. Have a great one, guys.